Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own cardboard templates. And as you've seen in a few of my other videos, I use them for various different things. They're so easy to make and you can make them in any different sizes. Like I have my video for my pinwheel bow that shows you all the different sizes for the different widths of ribbon. Today I'm going to show you with the 4 inch wide one. But you can do any size. But this is how I like to make mine. So I just use any old cardboard for today. I just have a cereal box. I don't waste anything. And I've got this self-healing mat here. That makes it easy when I'm cutting on stuff like this. So pretty much all I do is I take one straight edge. And line it up with one of the edges here on my mat. And then I cut count over four inches. And then I take my ruler and I just put it along the side of that so that I have four inches. And I have my box cutter blade. You can pick them up anywhere. And I just slide it on down the side of my ruler. And then I take this side and I put it off to the side. And now I have my four inches wide. So now how I get my slit in the middle to be right in the middle is so I take my ruler and I put it up to where it's even if I can get it even and then I find the middle part which for a four inch wide one it'd be at two inches so then I just take and I mark like on the ruler and I know you probably can't tell the lines in the ruler because the glare from my light but so I'll count over, so I'll go to the inch and three quarter mark and the two and a quarter mark there. So that it's equal on either side of my middle point. And then I just line it up and draw a line. I want everything to be straight, so... I keep that to the edge over here, and I take my ruler, and I just make sure it's straight, and I just draw a line on that side, and then a line on this side, so that I have that, and I try to make them relatively, relatively even across, and now that I have my middle, I just take my ruler again, and my box cutter, and I go along that line, pushing all the way through, and come to this line, and I push all the way through so that this is cut, and then I just come and I cut that part out. So now I have my template. So easy, so simple, as you can tell. It is not hard at all. And then what I'll do is... I don't like this tape. I mean, I have various different boxes. But as you can tell, it's kind of shiny right here. This is a um, packing tape. And I like to put it on the edge of my templates. So that the ribbon or whatever I'm wrapping around it slides off nice and easy. It gives it a slick spot to slide off on. You can leave it like this. It's not a big deal. But I like to put the tape on the, the edge of it. Just It just adds an added extra slide to it. So there we have it. There's our cardboard template. Like I said, I did this one in 4 inches. But I have them in various different sizes. Let's see. Try to keep everything organized. Like this one here is a 2 inch wide one. It just all depends on what size you're wanting to make and how big you want to make it. I tend to work with the 4 inch 90% of the time, but I do use the other ones for different widths of ribbons. So you can go check out, I will put a link to the pinwheel bow video in there and it gives you all the different measurements for all the different templates that I use for the different widths of the ribbons. But this is how I make my templates. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and as well as with the link to that pinwheel bow video I will be putting a link to my Facebook page in the description below. 
so you guys can come ask me questions, connect with me, all that good stuff, and we'll, I will be getting back to you a lot more videos, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one again, and thumbs up, and subscribe, and happy crafting!